Welcome to Emergency Chaos, where we provide tips and tricks to make you a better ER nurse. Today, we are going over how to recognize a STEMI or ST segment elevation myocardial infarction on an ECG. Acute coronary syndromes, which include STEMIs, are very important to recognize in the ER, and I hope that by the end of the video, you can do just that. A side note with ECGs is that there are a certain levels of expertise, whether it being able to interpret an ECG or being able to at least recognize certain patterns. The providers are the ones interpreting the EKG, but that is not an excuse to at least not understand the basics, especially because you will be most likely the one performing or obtaining the ECG, and you must be able to recognize which rhythms are deadly in order to gather the team and resources immediately. It's important to recognize the STEMI because as we know, time is muscle. And the faster the patient can undergo PCI, the better the patient does in the long term. So first, we need to know what the ST segment is, right? Because with STEMIs is ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. So first, we need to know what the ST segment is. So the ST segment is the section here that's encircled in yellow. So this right here is the ST segment. Note also how it is similar to the PR segment in its location, how it's kind of just a straight line compared to the PR segment. So again, this is the ST segment, especially this part right here. And this is the PR segment. It's important to also know where the PR segment is because we're going to compare them when we try to look for ST segment elevation because it's going to be elevated above the PR segment. And then the next important point to keep in mind is to be on the lookout for ST segment elevation in consecutive leads of more than one to two millimeters. So let's first go over what we mean by elevation and then we're going to go over what it means by consecutive leads. So each tiny little square represents one millimeter. So you're going to look for a rise in the SD segment of one to two millimeters or one to two little square. So that makes it more simple. At least that's how I, it was. I got it to click for myself, right? So you know or elevation by comparing the ST segment to the PR segment, as we said. So here, for example, as you see, the ST segment is very it's sort of just a continuation in the line from the PR segment. So you know that there's no elevation and there's no depression. It's just neutral. But when you note elevation, the ST segment will be much higher than the PR segment. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go into what we mean when we say that, that they need to be in consecutive leads. So each part of the ECG corresponds to a specific part of the heart. For example, leads to three and AVF are looking at the inferior part of the heart or V5, V6, lead one and AVL are looking at the lateral part of the heart. It's important to know this because it allows us to figure out which part of the heart is ischemic and undergoing damage. And it helps us figure out which coronary arteries are involved since certain coronary arteries supply certain parts of the heart. Here, I wanted to give you a visual on an ECG of the consecutive leads again. Again, in yellow, we have leads 2, 3, and AVF that look at the inferior part of the heart. In orange, we have V1 and V2, and they're looking at the septum. In blue, V3 and V4 are looking at anteriorly. And in green, leads V5, V6, lead 1, and AVL are looking at the lateral part of the heart. So when we say consecutive leads, these right here are consecutive leads. These two right here are consecutive leads. These are consecutive leads. These right here, the lateral, the green ones, are the consecutive leads. So when we say consecutive leads, that's what we mean, right? So now that you have some of the basics down, which includes knowing what the ST segment is and that you're looking for elevation in consecutive leads of one to two millimeters, now that you have that down, let's look at this EKG and see if we're seeing any ST elevation anywhere. If you want, I want you to pause the video here so that you can take a second to look at it and figure out if there is any ST elevation and where is it at. So if we compare the PR segment, we can see that there is ST elevation leads 2, 3, and AVF. So this is lead 2. This is the PR segment right here. If you follow it straight, 
it's not consecutive right there, right? So there is ST segment elevation here. There's some right here. And there's some right here, right? So you can see that there is an ST elevation and leads two three and avf and as we said these are consecutively these are consecutive leads that corresponds to the inferior part of the heart now have a look at this ekg where do you see elevation so most notably you see elevation in v2 v3 v4 and v5 right and we know that v3 and v4 correspond to the anterior leads and are consecutive right so keep that in mind. You see that elevation in two, three, four, and five. You do see some in two and V5, but the consecutive ones that we're seeing are V3 and V4. And these two right here correspond, as we said, to the anterior part of the heart. So that's why it's important to know which ones are consecutive and that we're looking for the elevation that it has to be one to two millimeters or one to two little boxes. So I hope that you are now better able to recognize STEMIs on an ECG after watching this video. Of course, because you are new, remember that you need to show the ECG to your provider as soon as possible, especially when you know something is off, and especially if you know something like a STEMI. You are most likely going to be the front line, meaning you may be the one in triage performing the ECG before a provider has came in contact with the patient. So you must be able to recognize certain things and piece clues together. For example, your patient is in his 50s in age and is coming for chest pain, shortness of breath, looking a little pale and a little nauseous. So based on your facility's protocols and your nursing judgment, you get an ECG within 15 minutes of arrival and you know that there's ST segment elevation and consecutive leads. At that point, you know that this patient takes priority and you ensure that your provider is aware so that the patient can be taken care of adequately and appropriately so the resources and staff can be called in again so that this patient can be taken care of because time is muscle. Thank you for your time today. I hope that I was at least able to teach you one thing. If you want to keep learning, I've listed my favorite ER nursing related books in the description with my favorite being Sheehy's and the case files. As well, please take the time to watch my other videos. Also, if you would like to help support the channel, I have nursing stickers and shirts on Redbubble that you can check out again. Thank you for your time today. And as always, teamwork makes the dream work. And here at Emergency Chaos, we are proactive, not reactive.